The countdown begins to the big semifinal game on Saturday between Bemidji and Brainerd Boys Hockey. Both teams showed plenty of offense last night with Bemidji defeating River Lakes 8-2 and Brainerd shutting out St. Cloud's Tech 7-0. Our Cameron Kramer starts our coverage with the Brainerd Warriors. Warriors are playing their best hockey of the season, and it couldn't come at a better time. They bested fifth-ranked St. Cloud Tech 7-0, with Jared Stearns stopping 24 shots. If Jared can play like that every game, uh, he's going to give us a chance to win every game, and that's all we ask. But even with the win, there was a loss. Matt Polkamp, the team's third leading scorer, was hurt after a knee-to-knee -knee collision. His status for Saturday's game is unknown. And that game against Bemidji is a rematch of a January contest in which the Warriors fell 5-3. Even in the loss, the Warriors say they learned a valuable lesson. We learned that like we can play with good teams and everything, and that like everybody's about the same in this league. Anybody can beat anybody like on any day. We come out, we play out, play we did last night. I mean, it'll be a great show, but hopefully uh, we can be on the W side of things this time. The Warriors hope to contain the Jacks, who have 13 players who have notched 10 or more points. Take every line like it's their best line, and just keep everybody outside. Let them have bad shots, bad angle shots. Though they're an underdog, the Warriors aren't worried. We've got a line that can put the puck in the net, and we know they're going to have to match somebody up against them. Despite an injury to their top line, the Warriors hope to continue their winning ways. We'll send it now to Lakeland Sports Director Josh Christensen. Thanks, Cameron. The Bemidji Lumberjacks say they were very disappointed with their play in the first two periods last night against River Lakes. They were able to score six goals in the third period, but they say they absolutely have to play three solid periods of hockey against against Brainerd on Saturday. Typically everybody in the state at this time of year is going to bring their A game and if you don't obviously you're going to get beat pretty bad so uh, you know what uh, the kids are ready to go and uh, I'm excited. Brainerd's really good they're a spooky team at this time of the year they they always bring it they always work hard and uh, they're really good in pole season. The Lumberjacks know their toughest battle will be stopping Brainerd's top line of Josh Archibald, Matt Polkamp and Mitch McLean. Those three together are they're big they're skilled I mean they're quick they know how to put the puck away, and they each got about 70 points right now. They're a good line. Senior goalie Jeremiah Grace will be a big key in stopping the Warriors' top line. He's seventh in the state with a .928 save percentage and eighth with a 1.68 goals against average. He's a heck of a goaltender. Uh, without him, we wouldn't win the games that we have won or came close to the ones we lost. I mean, he's solid. The defense is doing a good job. They're pushing shots to the outside. Forwards are getting back, picking people up. So it makes my life a lot easier when they're doing that stuff. With a solid goaltender and four solid lines, the Lumberjacks feel they have what it takes to advance to the section championship. And both teams will square off at 7 p.m. at the Bemidji Community Arena.